Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. It's a twofer in today's video. We're going to be taking a look at the Vintage Ertl Caterpillar Micro Size Construction Sets. They released two of these back in the early 1990s. In fact, the date on the back of these boxes is 1991. You can see in this set, we have a wheel loader, an excavator, and an articulated dump truck. This set over here features a track type tractor bulldozer, a wheel tractor scraper, and a challenger tractor. Here's what the back of the boxing card look like. Here's your copyright date of 1991, made by the Ertl Company. You could join the Collector's Club back then in the day, back when you actually had to send things away in the physical mail and not join them on an email. So that's an interesting uh, and nice piece of history there. So these are comparable in size to N scale, which is the reason that I picked these up, because I am slowly but surely amassing a construction collection in N scale. Uh, and they scale out quite well. They look really good. The only negative thing I have to say about these before I even take a look at them and open them out of the box is that obviously Caterpillar licensed this, but there is no cat name on any of these models as well as there's no model number. So for example, this dozer, which looks like it could be a D6H, there you will not find any D6H nomenclature anywhere on that model or the other five as well. Okay. Let's take a very quick break. When we come back, I'll have all of these unboxed and we'll have them on the spin table and we'll take an up close and personal look at each and every one of these. So don't go away. All right, welcome back everyone and thank you for sticking with me. So we've got the first three models out of the box. Let's begin by taking a look at the articulated dump truck. So this is probably meant to be modeled after the D uh, 25D, which was a single axle articulated dump truck back in the day that Caterpillar made. As for the casting detail, it's pretty nice. You can tell that it's a cat articulated dump truck. You have the cab on the left-hand side, which is offset. The black grill, uh, the black lining all throughout, which you can see down here. The wheels have a decent tread pattern on them and a realistic hub. And as for functionality, although it is an articulated dump truck, the truck does not pivot across the center articulation joint, but at least the dump box does raise and lower, so... That's okay and good to see for me. We will leave him up on the table momentarily because the next model we're going to take a look at is the cat wheel loader included with this set. And just to show you what the two look like, there you go. Focusing in now on the wheel loader, if I had to guess, I would say that this is either modeled after a 980C series or maybe even a 950 wheel loader. It's hard to tell because of the scale chosen, um, but it's one of the two. Either way, it's a medium-sized cat wheel loader from the late 80s, early 1990s. The detail on here, again, pretty good for the small scale, the micro scale, as Ertl called it. Um, there's no interior on any of these. You can see that the windows in the interior are completely blacked out. But for functionality, again, this is a model that doesn't feature any articulated steering. But you can see that you can dump the bucket or tilt it back, and you can raise the loader arms down or up. So in terms of that, I've seen worse functionality on a proper 1 to 50 scale model. So again, can't complain there hardly at all. All right, wasting no more time, let's take a look at the last model included in the set, which is the excavator. Again, if I had to guess, we're talking maybe a 235 or a 245 here, potentially small enough to be a 225, but I doubt it. Um, it will rotate 360 degrees. The tracks don't move, but they do have included plastic wheels underneath so you can move that around your boom will raise and lower your stick is stationary so it will not curl in and will not curl out but your bucket does curl in and out again i've seen worse functionality on 150 scale or even 164 scale models so again i can't complain too much especially for how old these are and again it bears repeating how tiny and small these are Put this up next to the dump truck again for accurate size reference. Here you go. And you guys can let me know down in the comments section below, those historians among us or those cat experts among us. What do you think? Do you agree with my model designations? Do you think maybe they fit a different model designation? Let me know down in the comments section below. All right, that's the first three of six. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the models included in the second set. Welcome back, everyone, and thank you for sticking with me. The first in the second series of three is the Challenger Agricultural Tractor. Now, because this doesn't have the raised drive sprocket, it would lead me to believe that this is probably modeled after a Challenger 65 if I had to put a uh, pretty decent amount of money down on a bet. That's what I would go with. 
Very little functionality other than there is a hole in the back. So if you do have one of the other small trailers that come with uh, the farming Mighty Mover set that Ertl did around the same time, you could potentially hook up the trailer to the back of this. Again, you have working plastic wheels because it is a track machine and obviously the tracks don't roll. But I do like the fact that they at least tried to mimic some of the engine detailing with the engine being open and some of the detail that can be found on the track frames itself. All right, that's the 65 Challenger. Let's move on. Next up, we have a wheel tractor scraper. Again, very little functionality here at all. You can't raise or lower the bowl. Uh, there's a little bit of play left and right. You can see that to kind of illustrate articulated steering that you would find in any wheel tractor scraper, but it is very, very little on this model. I would say this is probably close to a 611, maybe a 613C, somewhere in there. Again, you guys, I'm sure, are previously typing away down in the comment section below your opinion, which is what I want. Let me know what you think. And what I want to do is compare this directly to a proper N-scale model, meaning that this is actually casted and modeled to be precisely N-scale and 1 to 1 60th. So we have a GHQ scraper, which is a 631E. You can tell that it is substantially larger. It is much, much larger. That being said, the 631E was a very large scraper compared to, again, the 611 or the 613. So this could possibly work if you want it on your layout. Just have this one in the background so you can hide it. All right, we'll end the video with the bulldozer that is included in this set. Another tracked vehicle, but at least they did accurately model the raised drive sprocket. I would say this is comparable in size to, as I mentioned during the introduction, a Cat D6, maybe a D6H if I had to be really precise. The only bit of functionality is that the blade will raise and lower it, and you do have the hitch at the back drilled through on this again if you wanted to move it around with a trailer. You can move it, helped with the supplied plastic wheels underneath for those that back in the day wanted these for actual play toys. All right, let's compare this dozer to a proper 187, or excuse me, 160th model and scale model. So here I have the GHQ Cat D8H, and you can see they scale out about right. Um, if anything, I think it's super close. Of all of these, the pro probably the D6, the dozer you're seeing, is probably the closest to actually being able to pass and use for N scale. So there you go couple other quick things I want to do while I have them out. Let's compare the wheel loader to a 1 to 1 60th scale model. Again, not exactly precise, but here we have the John Deere wheel loader, which is a keychain. Again, another smaller wheel loader. Again, pretty darn close for the scale, in my opinion. I don't think it's that, that far off. All right. I don't have an articulated dump truck yet in end scale, a proper, a proper end scale one. So he's going to have to stand in and perhaps look good next to a on-highway dump truck, and you guys can draw your own correlation. This, By the way, if you're wondering, this dump truck, the Kenworth, is by Trainworks. It was very, very expensive. Um, but I wanted a nice model of a dump truck in 1 to 1 60th scale, and everything Trainworks does is very, very nice, but they're also extremely expensive. Okay, let's close the video with what the excavator looks like next to a proper 1 to 1 60th scale excavator. So I have the CAT 320 Next Gen by Diecast Masters, and then here is the Ertl model. Maybe this one is a little bit closer to not being totally accurate, but again, for a 225, it's certainly passive. Definitely would not call this a 245 at this point, um, but when it is posed next to the 320, you can see that it just might work as a background model on your end scale layout. That'll do it for this video. Thank you all so very much for watching. Let me know down in the comments section below what you think the model designations of these models should be. Are you interested in chasing these down and adding them to your collection? And what do you think overall about them? Did Earl do a good job for the time period? Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.